Hello everybody and welcome to another monthly movie roundup where we go through our letterbox, see what movies we watched last month and uh, say, ask the question, was this any good? My name is Dan with H and with me as always is my co-host Tavi. Hi Tavi. Hey Dan, what's up? We're, we're seeing each other. May, hopefully the footage is actually useful. <laughs> when you fuck it up. Yeah. But yeah. Um, yeah, you, you didn't watch too many movies this month. You watched... Uh, oh, again, I've been watching the, the... Finishing up some TV series. Some of yeah, which finish. we will be talking about <laughs> in some... Or we will have already talked about in in some in our episodes at the yeah, time of this release, right? Watching a lot of Disney stuff, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, a bit of Disney stuff, but also a bit of Netflix stuff. Yeah, um, that's fair. Yeah, I'll link those episodes somewhere <laughs> uh, but yeah, you watched yeah. a lot of movies this month yeah i did i wanted to watch a bit more just um yeah decided to just you know sometimes i have months where i just watch a lot of stuff just mm -hmm. to kind of get into like a headspace mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. some some good ones some bad ones some really bad ones I can see that you've got a pretty good mix this month. So yeah, yeah. Uh, is there anything that you want to kick us off with? Um, let's see. What are what are some of the standouts that I watched this month? Um, what probably is more... what is Flea? I've heard I've I've seen this movie around. Ah, Flea. Yes, yeah. it was. Uh, it's like a it's like a docudrama. drama. Um, and it was, it was nominated for three categories in this year's Oscars, mm -hmm. uh, best animated feature, best international film and best documentary. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's where it caught, it caught my eye then. And I was like, oh shit, like, you know, this movie seems pretty interesting. Um, and I've been on my, my two watch list for a little while. At the time uh, of recording this, I haven't seen anything about this film except for a screenshot, which made me go. Is that Drake? Is that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, it's, it's, looks like it looks like that album cover. Um, oh what's oh that, what's yeah, that? yeah, yeah, the um, the one with like oh, pound, the one with pound cake on it. Oh, I forget yeah. what album that was, but yeah, it looks like that. It's like one of the early ones. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, no, but it's about uh, kind of a, like an Afghan refugee who, uh, at the time that Flea was made, he's like telling his story about how, how he fled and ended up in Norway. Um, I think he fled probably during like the early 90s. Um, I think when the Taliban was starting to uh, invade. Um, but yeah, it's it's a it's a really it's a really good movie. Um, yeah. You can see I gave it four and a half yeah. stars. Yeah, it's a, it's one of those movies that you kind of you'll sit there and you watch it and it will just linger on with you for a little while. Mm. It's a really, like, it's a pretty harrowing tale of like, you know, uh, human trafficking. Um, Cause basically he has to flee Afghanistan and mm. then he like goes to Russia and he experiences like the end of communism and how he's, uh, you know, experiencing like police corruption and how his like brother is there because he wanted to avoid the war. Mm. So he's like trying to save money for his family to get like smuggled out of um, Russia because life is just as hard there as it was in um, Afghanistan almost. And like, yeah, it's a pretty, it's not an overly uh, graphic movie. Mm -hmm. um, it's all animated. Uh, it's part of like this genre of uh, animated documentaries that I really like. Um, mm. Some of the earlier ones, uh, Waltz with Bashir, I think that's like 2006. Okay. It's about like the Lebanon civil war. Right. Um, a few years ago, I watched one called Tower, which is about uh, the sniper on top of the Texas uh, University. I think it was in the 60s or 70s. And he's just indiscriminately sniping people. Mm -hmm. um, so... Yeah, it, it gives this kind of surrealism to it. Yeah, I've never um, watched a um, an animated documentary or docu series mm. before, but this concept sounds pretty interesting. Like compared to like a regular documentary, what mm. what is the main? I mean, aside from the obvious, like one is animated and one is not. Yeah, yeah. What what is the main like difference in tone? I guess it, like between the two. Uh, I think it's 
Uh, hmm. How would I explain? It's definitely more like, uh, it's more vivid. It makes it a little bit easier to watch, I guess, because it's, uh, because it's animated, it, it doesn't seem as heavy, but that's not to take away from the emotional weight of the story. Sure. Maybe it doesn't um, feel as real. Yeah. Yeah. Um, there's, there's one thing that really struck me about this movie is that uh, the main character is like a homosexual. Um, and I didn't have any inkling that this was going to have these kind of themes, but they are done so well and so organic in this movie. Um, and I wish it kind of did have more like exposure because there's a lot of stuff that I can relate to, to this character. Cause he's growing up watching, you know, um, like Jean-Claude Van Damme movies and, you know, Predator and stuff. And it's just like what we used to do as kids. Which was almost um, a Jean-Claude Van Damme movie. Yeah, yeah it was. <laughs> um, but yeah, like he talks about how he like was, uh, he found out that he was attracted to men. And it just says like, he just kind of knew it when he was five or six years old. And he, to him, it wasn't really a mystery. But of course, you know, in Afghanistan, it's really like taboo mm -hmm. to like uh be homosexual um not to give too much away of the movie but there's one particular plot point that like it really got to be when he because he hides his uh you know homosexuality from his family mm -hmm. um and there's a bit where because they kind of scatter all over europe but they eventually come back together and he's talking like with his family and then his brothers and sisters are like, oh, you know, why, when are you going to get like a nice girl and stuff like that? And he's, and he says something like, oh, you know, uh, girls are just a bit of a distraction to me. Like, I don't really need them. And then in the reenactment, like the brothers and sister, they like look at each other very kind of like ominously. And then the older brother's like, oh, you know, let me, um, I, I want to take you somewhere. And they don't really say where. And then the brother takes him outside this club and he gives him like all this money and he's like, go have some fun. And he's like, we all, we always knew. And then like, it's a gay club. So the family always knew, but they didn't judge him for it. Mm. And that was like a really, oh, that hit me in the feels. Like, even now it's like, you can probably hear my voice crackling. Yeah. It's like, damn man. It's, Acceptance it's, is beautiful. Yeah. Mm. It's really, and it's like, it's so well done. And I wish like this movie had more recognition to tell that message. Cause it's, it's a beautiful thing, you know? And mm. it's like, I, uh, I'm not gay myself, so I don't understand, but I understand that feeling of hiding something. Sure. So you can, it can relate to anyone mm -hmm. rather than just putting like, you know, a token character in like say resident evil did <laughs> <laughs> and then just yeah. like have nothing to do with it. So I think it's, yeah, it's it's really really well done. Um, I highly like if I'd watched this movie last year, it would have made my top ten list because mm. it was just like, whoa. Well, it sounds like people are responding to it. Um, oh, people yeah. definitely are. Yeah. yeah, but it's it's not like in the mainstream conscious really. And like I, when I watch it, I think of all this marketing of people saying, "Oh, our movie is gonna save lives." when it's just like a generic movie mm. with just some themes, but here's like an actual movie telling like a real story in a pretty accessible way. Like it's definitely heavy, but it's not, it's not a, I wouldn't say it's a very violent movie at all. It's yeah. just like a lot of the scenes uh, depict heavy things, but I think it's quite accessible. Yeah. Mm. It's, it's really a uh, brilliant movie. Yeah. It's like, It'll, it'll bring it to your, to your eye because okay. it's good. It yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. I'll probably check it mm. out. Like I'm interested in the, in the genre uh, yeah. as well. Checking out, um, like a animated documentary. Mm. I think it'd be and pretty it's, interesting. It's short as well. It's only, it's less than an hour and a half. Oh, like, even better. Like 29. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So people with a little less, um, you know, attention span these days, uh, <laughs> you know, check it out. Um, yeah. But let's have a look at what you've seen. Mm. Uh, you watch house of Gucci. Yes. Which has kind of been on my radar. Um, you've given oh, I it thought you three watched stars. It. I haven't seen it yet, no. Uh, um, okay. But yeah, no, I'd, I'd been wanting to watch it. Mm. Um, but I just hadn't got time. Um, I just didn't get around to it. Yeah. You know? I mean, it, yeah, it's all right. Like, Because <laughs> uh, you, watch, you watch King Richard, right? 
Um, uh, yeah, I watched King Richard. Yeah, I, I think I enjoyed King Richard a bit more than House mm. of Gucci. Um, and yeah, I'm not really sure why I didn't respond that much to, to House of Gucci. I think like the direction is solid and the performances mm. are pretty good. <laughs> yeah, even even Jared Leto's performance. <laughs> oh, yeah, like, Jared Leto's <laughs> have, you, have you seen it? Like like I've any seen, of his performance? I've, yeah. Yeah, I've seen there's like a transition where he's like on stage and then like he like kind of yells, but then it's a car horn and then it like transitions. Oh, yeah. <laughs> to, yeah, I, I remember seeing someone uploaded that on YouTube and it looked pretty, it looked pretty cool. Yeah. But look, yeah. I mean, <laughs> he's, he's just doing like a really, you know, typically over the top performance. Mm. Uh, mm. Sounds a bit like uh, Luigi uh, Mario, yeah. <laughs> you know? Wait, um, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not, yeah, I'm not sure if, if people really liked his performance or not, but I mean, me as a fan of like overacting and just memorable performances, mm. whether they be bad or good, I, I enjoy <laughs> his performance. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, Gaga's doing really well as well. Um, Pacino, of course. Um, and uh, yeah, Adam Driver's like superb. I think all of the actors are doing really well. It's just, I mm. think the, I think the story is a bit lacking for me. I, th- I think like. It's supposed to be like a, like a really OTT soap opera style. That's what I've heard from yeah, some movies or some people. Yeah. I don't think it's over the top enough though. Um, mm. Like the, there is a, pretty slow build up i think of um tension like it you know it kind of starts off everybody's pretty happy with themselves you know mm. uh and then eventually money gets in the way greed gets in the way and people start turning on each other but but it is like it's not a sudden shift it is quite gradual um oh, okay and yeah. i think once the drama starts happening yeah there aren't me- that many moments where the actors are allowed to kind of just let loose and and do mm. like a lot of acting <laughs> like oh, I, from okay. what i yeah. from what i heard like the the strength of this movie is like these kind of like really big acting moments but i didn't mm. find them that big to be honest I, I thought like um like they were good but they weren't mm. like um overly dramatic i think oh, okay yeah that's interesting because the trailer makes it look pretty damn dramatic <laughs> yeah like yeah but i guess i guess it didn't so you know yeah um, I, I just don't think like uh i don't think there was enough emotion uh behind any of the characters motivations yeah mm. it, it was just purely like greed and and jealousy and um yeah, it's not like a King Richard situation where like you can really feel the emotion behind mm, every character's yeah. like uh, arc, I guess. Like, yeah, yeah. Because their motivations are quite strong. In in House of Gucci, it's more like yeah, kind of only surface level <laughs> emotion, mm, I think. Mm, and yeah. I I feel like that's probably what what let this movie down for me is yeah, I just didn't find the story that engaging. Um, uh, okay. And by yeah. extension, the performances fell a bit short. I don't think it's a fault of the actors. I just think they didn't have mm. uh, enough to work with here. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's, it's all right. Like um, for me, I don't know really anything about fashion or anything about the story nah, of the family yeah. Gucci. Um, no, nah, me neither. I feel As like... you can tell, I'm not the I'm not the biggest fashionista. <laughs> Just rocking a rocking a red jumper from I don't even remember where I bought this. Yeah, I got a, I got <laughs> Just, a Jurassic Park well. hoodie from <laughs> yeah. from Kmart or something. <laughs> oh, yeah, um, yeah for, probably people that that are into fashion might enjoy mm. um, you know the costuming and stuff uh, behind mm-hmm. it. I think like yeah, I think the production design I hear is pretty good. Yeah, and the costuming is pretty good. I'd say yeah. so. Like the prosthetics on Jared Leto are pretty pretty um impressive um mm. yeah and yeah there there are moments where you kind of feel for the characters or you like kind of like hate the characters at, at mm. some point but it, it never really felt that like strong to me mm-hmm. um but that said i didn't hate it and yeah yeah I well think- you gave it three stars which is I'd say slightly above average. Mm. Um, yeah, I think this like, movie is, uh, yeah, is it's, slightly it's above good. average. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's it's good. <laughs> That's, yeah, it's a decent film. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, it's 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 not really high that much high on my radar anymore. But if I, I'll probably watch it eventually one day because I do like Ridley Scott. 
Um, he's hit and miss, but you know, it's, mm. uh, yeah. He tries different things, and I kind of yeah. res- I respect him for that. That's true. He's he's a pretty uh, versatile guy. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. All right. Let's see what uh, else you've been watching. <laughs> Do you want to talk about a stinker? <laughs> All right, go go for it. Uh, you've got a couple. I guess I'll go with the one you rated lower. Um, <laughs> one up. So <laughs> you gave this oh, one man. one star. <laughs> I gave it one. Oh, I mean, I. Uh, I probably can't talk too much about it without getting cancelled, but then again, I don't really give it that too much of a shit anyway. <laughs> but it's a very, it's like... Give, give us a rundown on the plot. <laughs> if, it, um, if it gives any indication of what this movie is like, it's been produced by BuzzFeed Studios. Mm. So I didn't know, even I know that was a thing. <laughs> I didn't even know either. <laughs> I, I don't know why this was on my feed, but I just saw this trailer and it's a it's about a a girl in college who's an esports uh, she's not an esports star she just she plays like a kind of MMO RPG game uh, that actually exists. It's on Steam. Which, oh yeah, which someone okay. someone pointed I, it I to. wouldn't have picked that. Like yeah, from, no, it's from an, the, it's an actual... the trailer, it just looks like you know fake animated stuff that no, they've no, outsourced. It's... Yeah, no, it's a, it's an actual game. So okay. I was actually really surprised. Cool. But basically, uh, I don't even remember the main character's name, but she gets like booted out of her team because like she's a girl, and then she's like, "Fuck this! I'm gonna make like an all female team," mm. and yada yada yada. And, like, it's one of those movies where it makes you feel bad for being a dude. And mm. there's, like, um, you know, it's... But most of all, it's just really bad humor. Mm-hmm. Um, Does it feel yeah. like it's shoehorned in? That, that gaming culture is kind of shoehorned into this. Like, this movie is obviously made for people who play games. But no one who likes gaming would like this movie. Um, and it's just like, it's, it's super generic. It's uh-huh. just like, you know, they they get Ruby Rose, who's their coach yeah. as their, um, their mentor mm. or whatever. And then it's just like, oh yeah, they do all these training things. And it's like, yeah, you gotta remember to just have fun, you know, just like play it. But it's not, it's just like, it's just, it's a really shit sports film. <laughs> okay. Like you're not gonna, you're not gonna gain anything from this movie. Uh-huh. Um, Do you remember what the game's called? Cause maybe it's just an hour and a half ad for the game. You know? <laughs> no, I, don't, I don't remember. Like, I, watched, I watched this movie a long time ago and it's like, cause I watched it because like, I like, uh, I. Uh, I watch some of the esports league. Uh, mm. I find them pretty interesting. Uh, some of the fighting game ones, like oh, what, watching um, what's that really popular one? Um, Are you talking um, about Evo? Is that the fighting one? Yeah, that's it. Evo. Evo is the fighting one. Yeah. 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 Don't. It, yeah, I mean, like those games, though. You know the game, so like yeah. that gives you an extra layer of understanding when it comes to watching that stuff. Do you think, yeah. like, if you were a fan of this game from this movie? You would have enjoyed the film more. No, probably not. <laughs> is, is there enough I, of the game in it to be like? There's, oh, there's quite a exciting. bit of the game. It's just like, <laughs> it's just you know, it's just it looks very cheap. Like the filming of it is that very, like low quality, bad lighting, like high school drama or comedy lighting, and it just like it just looks shit sure. on screen. It just hurts your eyes, and it's just like <laughs> there's no coordination of color palettes. So it's just a bright. And it's just like humor is loud equals funny, and it's just like yeah, mm. nah, just uh, not not a good movie, bit of a stinker, yeah, just a uh, um, paycheck movie. People paycheck movie for the crew, I guess. You know, like, oh, <laughs> for yeah, Ruby Rose, she's going to do something. You know? <laughs> yeah, Whether she's lost um, Batwoman or whatever she was doing. <laughs> that whole show's been cancelled now. It sure but, has. Um, yeah, let's not talk about that. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, one up. It's shit. Don't watch it. Don't waste your time. Uh, let's have a look at your end. I mean, I can see two stink. Well, not really. You just gave them two and a half. Mm. So average. You've got uh, 13 going on 30, who mm-hmm. I think I know whose idea that was to watch. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, you got the princess. What? What is? What is the princess? Ah, yes. 
So the princess uh, has an interesting premise. It, it's basically this, uh, like a Disney princess. Mm. Um, she's being forced to marry this uh, kind of, I guess, invading king or this king wannabe that's kind of like has a plan to usurp the throne by mm. marrying this princess. So mm. she gets captured and put at the top of the tower. Yeah. Um, but she knows martial arts and is able to escape and then uh, like the movie is her traveling down this tower while fighting guards or evading guards detection or whatnot. So it's kind of like the way I like heard the pitch, it was kind of like the raid, but going down a tower and with the Disney princess as the lead. Yeah. Mm. Which I was like, oh, that sounds pretty cool. And yeah, like yeah. the trailers showed showcased a bit of the martial arts in it. I was like, yeah, this looks pretty competent. Like, um, yeah. But yeah, the movie itself, not great. Uh, <laughs> um, which is a shame. I think that hurt more than than actually watching the movie. Like, because because I quite like cheap martial arts films. Like, I, I don't I don't mind like you know your generics. Scott Atkins film from every like every now and then you know what I mean Um, and that's kind of what this is Um, oh okay yeah so it's for me it's not terrible but it's just kind of wasted potential I think for me Mm -hmm. like because I do like the idea of like taking that Disney vibe and twisting it and turning it into a kick-ass action film Mm. and like the way they kind of explain her martial arts training is is fine yeah you know mm-hmm. like i think she's got like asian servants and they, they, like one of them secretly trains her uh in martial arts um and there's a bit of like oh ladies shouldn't be acting like this you know um oh yeah stuff. so it's got that kind of like yeah yeah which is fine things. as well like yeah, yeah. um i think you know that's kind of an important message for uh i guess for young women growing up maybe mm, yeah. um but i don't think that's who this movie is for i think this movie is kind of for like martial arts <laughs> um cinema yeah, yeah. lovers i guess mm. so um pe- there'd be people like me or around my age i guess that enjoy mm. like older art martial arts films yeah yeah um the yeah like the performances are okay but they're like really cheesy like it's it's got that guy mm. from um uh abraham lincoln vampire slayer <laughs> dominic cooper dominic uh, Co- nah does doesn't ring a bell uh yeah he's in the tv show preacher uh <laughs> he's in dracula untold which we talked oh, about dracula, yeah, yeah, dracula untold. Which, a movie that you have no recollection of watching <laughs> no nah, nah. uh, yeah. <laughs> i didn't have very much recollection of uh, Abraham Lincoln either the, <laughs> yeah. the, the, the horse the horse scene and twirling of axes yeah he's kind of this actor <laughs> that is a um, pretty competent like action guy um, mm. but he's never he never really plays the lead um, yeah and yeah he he plays the like... antagonist in this film okay yeah so he he's kind of really like horse. hamming it up and, and being mm. like deliciously evil um which is fine i think all of that is fine like the the set design and the costuming is quite good as well Mm. yeah um and at first the fight choreography and the fight scenes are pretty good like they're pretty entertaining Mm. but then it it quickly becomes very repetitive Mm. because Mm. like the good thing about the raid is that eco ui is fighting people that know how to fight as well to an extent oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. yeah so like the fights are quite it's like a it's like a tennis match i guess like yeah yeah when one person is way better than the other the rallies are short and it's boring uh, to yeah. watch yeah but mm, when two yeah. people are quite like equally matched that you get longer rallies and mm. it's more entertaining to watch so that that's like a weakness of this film is that she's fighting these like guards that are just kind of buffoons. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So she just kind of dances around them and like watching that over and over again. At first it's fun. So she's she's like too OP. So she doesn't like, it doesn't sound like she gets tired or like 
progressively hurt. Yeah. Let's say like Iko Yeah, that's like, right. It's, it's yeah. just kind of like there's not much of an escalating tension. Is that like she's just good mm-hmm. and like that's it and like there's no yeah. Yeah, like there'll be moments where like a guy has her like and and tries to choke her and then she mm. like escapes. So like from time to time she gets into trouble. But you're right. There's no kind of escalation of fatigue. Or, mm. or damage like I think I was talking to a guy that I used to work with in Japan who had worked as a stuntman in the past oh yeah, yeah and he was talking about like the beauty of like a good fight scene is that it tells a story like mm. it the the characters should get fatigued and they should get yeah, more yeah. and more like damaged and tired as the fight progresses um, like there's kind of no like refresh button like during the fight mm. but yeah in this movie that's not really the case she's just kind of like she schools pretty much everyone and from time to time she gets into trouble but it has no residual like long lasting effect like the next mm. scene mm. she's fine again um mm. and yeah i guess yeah it, i mean again it's not a terrible film um by any stretch it's just it could have been a uh, a lot more than it ended up being. Yeah, uh, so it's just kind of like a little bit of shit writing, really. Yeah, I guess <laughs> like, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, which yeah, is a shame. She's just yeah. <laughs> it, I, I mean, the premise actually does sound pretty interesting. Hmm. Like, kind of, it's a, a Disney princess who I guess goes kind of on a violent uh, tirade or something. For yeah, me, no, it, was, I, it was fine. I think. Yeah, I hadn't even I hadn't even heard about. I hadn't even heard about it at all. Mm. Like, yeah. 